So Movember is a thing that happens every year. Started by, I think, 2004 um, in Melbourne, Australia, and it's to help raise awareness for men's health issues, uh, particularly prostate cancer and the like. And the Ubisoft team here in Toronto usually has a group involved. In 2011, 30 odd of us managed to raise about $7,000, and that was really cool. Unfortunately for me, um, I don't do so well with the mustache. In 2011, this was me, and it just was not a good scene, and I thought I really don't want to do this again, but I still want to contribute, and I still want to be a part of it, so how do, how do I make that happen? Um, I've been doing photography as sort of a hobby and a passion for a number of years, and uh, so what ended up happening was uh, I thought, well, maybe I can do portraits for this whole thing. So normally what I shoot with and have done for probably about seven years is just my camera and a lens and available light. And that's all I've really worked with, mostly because I'm not very complicated. And so taking one more variable like controlling light out of the equation is great. Um, then about uh, a year and a half ago or so, I got my first flash. And I stuck this big old diffuser thing on it. It is not a beer bong. It is a flash diffuser. Uh, and I started running around and doing what I always do, which is just taking a bunch of photos and stuff and trying to figure out how crap works. Um, and that's worked out okay, uh, but uh, it was sort of a little bit of a challenge because I thought, well, crap, I want to do something with uh, a little bit, a little bit more complicated. So that was what happened for complicated. Uh, my creative director, Max Belland, loaned me another flash, some remote triggers, so I could trigger those flashes off the camera. Uh, a uh, what do you call it, umbrella, so that I could bounce that light. And then I was like, all right, well, now I've got two flashes off camera. What's going on? Um, so the night before I was due to do all these photos, uh, the very first ones for the first of November, uh, I had Naveed and Josh stand in for me, and I tried to figure out. And what I figured out was, well, I can get this stuff to fire, and that's about it. I'm not really sure what the light does, but we'll figure it out. Um, so the plan was that we had almost 50 people participating in November at Ubisoft. And so November 1st, I went into the back room, uh, back alley sort of thing at, at the far end of the studio and set up there with two flashes, that one was pointing the other way, and a brick wall and thought, all right, I'm going to take, uh, at this point, I think it was about 38 portraits. Um, I'm going to do them all in one lunch hour, shoot them all and process them, no problem. And that sort of worked. Um, Nacho got a head start on things. He didn't, you're supposed to shave at the beginning of November, but you know, he got a jump start. Tama got right into it, did it properly. Um, but you can see like the light's kind of flat. It's not super interesting, but stuff's mostly exposed. That's okay. Uh, holy crap, nothing got set on fire, and I managed to do all those portraits. A week later, uh, after playing around with the flashes some more, I got a little bit happier with it. I was like, okay, cool, this is interesting. But what I discovered was that when you've got you know, 40 plus people walking in front of that frame and doing it super quickly, they end up standing there and you're like, look cool. And then you take the picture and they walk off. And it's like, well, in 15 seconds, it's pretty hard to get someone's character to come out. And what I found was that it was a lot easier to give people something to focus on, right? Whether it was a prop or something else or something that they could kind of pick up and go with and so that they exhibited a little bit of personality in front of the camera. So uh, it was still just this matter of like keeping it going, keeping it going week in and week out. Um, and we had, of course, our most sisters, uh, a few of the ladies from the office who were helping out in various volunteer formats. So going with this notion of, all right, well, how do we find some props? We're in a video game studio. Of course, we have game controllers everywhere. Quick, hand someone a game controller. See what they do. Look confused in the case of Kent. Look very confused. I don't know. But again, this was just a case of going, well, how do I use the same background and do something interesting with it? Then we went kind of all in with the props. Uh, <laughs> And we had a bunch of airsoft guns and stuff get brought in and a whole bunch of sunglasses. Pat brought his own shovel. Um, and uh, and I, learned, I learned things about reflections. It turns out when you're using flash, there's a lot of reflection in sunglasses. And if you look really closely in that on the full-size version, you can see my shoes. Um, so November 30th, this was the end of the month. This had been five weeks of pure craziness. I ended up with this lineup of people all the way down the hall, every lunch hour on a Friday, wanting their photo taken. And so I found a black tablecloth, and I turned things around, and I decided, OK, I'm going to shoot through this umbrella. I'm going to get nice flat. Um, I want to do something that really shows off people's mustaches and the face. Like, I want to get right in there. Uh, we had very few props. That's Christian's own karambit, whatever. Um, and uh, it worked out pretty well. Um, this was a case of just trying to get right up in there and see, see what I could see about these people. Uh, and after five weeks, they were a lot more comfortable in front of the camera. I was a lot more comfortable with my lights. Um, and so you start playing around with things a little bit. Uh, in this case, I had taken this really tight shot of Max, and then he'd thrown his hood up, and I went, ooh, the wings are cool. 
So we'll, uh, we'll take a picture with the wings, and then we just start playing around with this stuff. And at this point, um, it, was, it was interesting to me that I had managed to sort of internalize what the light was doing a little bit, and that was a huge learning experience. And then this is uh, Ali. She's our, uh, our front desk defender, our office ninja, and our wonderful friend. And uh, she's, this is the same, exactly the same lighting setup, just I didn't make it black and white. I took this one image, and I looked at it, and I went, holy crap, that's like Ali, straight up. Um, and so I kept it, and that was, it was kind of see what happened. So this is actually the first time I had put together all of the photos of one person on slide. This is uh, Josh, one of our amazing artists. And uh, he's a really nice guy, as you can kind of tell from the first three. Those are just him having fun. Um, but when I put all these together, I kind of went, wow, that, like, like, that doesn't look totally evil. That's cool. That's, I'm not completely failing at this. Um, and of course, we had a kind of a wrap party at the end. Uh, and I was, at this point, I was so in love with these lights and these remote flash triggers that I put one in one hand and the camera in the other hand and ran around going, and just shooting from every angle conceivable with light and playing around. And some fun stuff came out of that. So at the end, in one month, uh, across five shoots, there was 243 portraits, um, uh, an average of about 45 or so shot and processed in one hour every week. Um, and it was kind of intense and kind of crazy. And what was amazing about it and was really wonderful about it is that I'm still not very good at this stuff. I'm still not very great with the light. Oh yeah, and we raised over $18,000, which was pretty awesome. The, the photos don't have much to do with that, but uh, the, the money was cool. Um, it was good to see that happen. So yeah, it was, it, was in, it was a good learning experience for me and just kind of going, well, here's a whole bunch of really hard constraints. And in the course of, I figure maybe eight hours in one month, I managed to learn a whole bunch about light and photography. So I think I should do that again, and maybe I'll get better. Thanks.